What's going on guys, Artificial Rest here, and today I'm bringing you a Photoshop tutorial. Now we are going to be taking a look at how to create a type of glitch slash 3D effect of an image, and it's the same effect that I used for the um, Assassin's Creed Watch Dogs, or the Watch Dogs video with the Assassin's Creed Easter Egg. So I'll just create a new document, and I have two files here that I will be using. It's a background and just make this a bit larger so it doesn't get those black edges all right we'll use that and we also have a 3d or not a 3d but a png render of connor from assassin's creed 3 and what we'll do is we'll make him a bit larger somewhere like that maybe yeah that looks kind of good so if you haven't seen the thumbnail you should go and check out my Assassin's or my Watchdogs Assassin's Creed Easter egg video, and the thumbnail will be in the description there as well. Uh, a larger version of it, so you can see it in its, um, so you can see it when it's a bit larger and a bit more easier to see than it is. But that small format YouTube uses for it for its thumbnails. So what you want to do is, if you use a PNG and drag it in Photoshop, you you have to rasterize it, right? So I'll do that on both. And now what you want to do is duplicate this layer two times so you get three copies. You can do this by clicking and dragging the layer down to create a new layer or just by pressing Ctrl J two times. All right, so the first copy, we will double click and on blending options default, we will tick off the green in RB or in RGB so we'll get a kind of green color and for the second copy we'll do the same but we will tick off these two so we get like a pink light purple color so now with these two with copy number one selected if you hold down shift and press the left arrow key like two times or actually I think one time is enough you'll see we're starting to get this 3d effect now you do the same thing on the second copy but only to the right and you'll have it even more 3d so as you already can see it looks pretty cool so you can and uh, now you can go ahead and merge these three layers together by holding down shift and clicking on the individual layers and then pressing Ctrl E. This will merge them all together. And what we'll do now is we'll add some additional effects. So I will add a distort, nope, a blur and motion blur. Not that much. We'll add around five. Or We'll add around three. We'll also add one more effect that is called extrude. We'll push this up to around 50. And this will look very good if you use it as a thumbnail from a distance. So if I now click OK, it should make small squares like sticking out of the, the image. All right, there we go. Now those, those squares were obviously too large. So maybe we'll stick with, actually maybe we'll go down in size. The original was 30, maybe we'll just try 15. 15 on both, I think that'll be good. Yeah, there we go, that's good. Now, you know, when you see it on YouTube, this will might be like, maybe like this will be some sort of the indication of the size on YouTube, on the YouTube thumb thumbnail that will actually be shown. And as you can see, you can, it makes it for a really cool effect. Now, if you're using this for watchdogs, you know, you obviously want to add your, um, your text. And if I just find the font, uh, I think it's called hacked. Yep. There, nope. Hacked. There we go. So if I now type in watchdogs. Watch dogs, not watch digs, but watch dogs. 
and I see now that these numbers are totally screwed up. Alright, there we go. And now we can just increase the size of this and you know add some uh, add some drop shadow to this to you know make it stick out a bit more you can also add a small stroke around it maybe a small black one so you know it will stick out from the background it doesn't really is that it isn't really that noticeable from a distance but if i take the effects off you can pretty easily see the difference and I also got a question by a friend of mine who asked what kind of font I used for the you know the um, the description of the actual video and let's see if I can find it I know it begins with an O all right here we go OCR I think this is a standard font that comes with Photoshop Oh, I did not want to change uh, the watchdogs font. Obviously, I had to create a new, a new, um, new layer for that. Uh, what should we call this? We'll call it Gl glitch effect. All right. So what we can do now is just mark this and just type in OCR. There we go. There we have the font that I use for the um, Watchdogs description on the tutorials. So as you can see now, we have this kind of. This isn't really the focus. The focus is obviously you know the the glitched out character on the thumbnail. So. So that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.